Raphael Bortz, and I am the stage director for our new production of Dvorak's Rusalka. Rusalka is a fairy tale opera based on Czech legends as well as Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid. Um, and it concerns the water nymph Rusalka, who has fallen in love with a prince, and she wants nothing more than to be a part of the human world and to marry him. We're going to be seeing this opera from the perspective of Rusalka almost the entire time. When the audience comes in, they'll see a kind of quarter pipe curved rake stage and a giant floating door that symbolizes her longing. And we see the human world only in shadow. So it's going to be a very lighting heavy show, lots of really cool lighting effects uh, as we examine not just the, the nature of the fairy tale itself, but also the psyche of the characters involved. Our inspiration for all of the costumes in the show was the Habsburg Empire in the 1880s. And what I found so fascinating about that time period is it was when the librettist Dvorak, Erben, who wrote uh, a lot of Czech fairy tales, he's kind of the Czech Hans Christian Andersen, if you will, um, were all alive. So this is a time period that really infuses the story. There are a lot of differences between the costumes of the fantasy characters and the human world. And then there are a couple of people that are kind of in between. Yeju Baba, the witch, for example, is, is one of those characters. We're doing a lot to this production that will make it completely new to our audiences. And one of the things that I'm most excited about is the way that we'll be using light. We have this translucent backdrop where uh, behind we have these beautiful, beautiful, intricate cut drops, as they're called, that almost look like uh, shadow puppets or something like that that when lit from behind create a giant silhouette on that uh, piece so that we get kind of the stained glass of the palace. We have these incredible willows that will actually drop and fade as Rusalka uh, be turns back into a nymph at the end but can't quite return to the water. And throughout the entire production, our audiences will see a lot of chairs, which will be used in, in many, many different ways in a lot of creative choreography and staging as a way to show where Rusalka is in, st in relationship to everyone else. I'm personally incredibly excited about this show. Rusalka is one of my favorite operas and was actually one of the operas that made me want to be a stage director. So I'm very excited to bring not just this production, but this piece to our audiences, uh, a beautiful, impressionistic fairy tale that kind of hits all the great points of opera. Incredible arias, incredible ensembles, lush orchestration, gorgeous melodies, and a tragic end all wrapped up in a world uh, beyond our own. And we'll be opening it in Phoenix in November, and then we'll travel to Tucson, uh, reaching hopefully thousands and thousands of people. We're so excited to do it.